I bet down there is the stupid dog of the Boreal Valley she was talking about. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what it is. Because there have been a few times where I assumed it's a boss, and it was not a boss. So, okay, that's a corpse. So, let's just hope I'm wrong again. Although, this is absolutely a boss. Oh, the door was shut behind me yet. One step. Two step. Three step. Four step. Five step. Six step. Red step. Blue step. Yellow step. Green step. Scared step. Boss step. Certainly something fighting something here. Boss run. It, it might have. It might wait until I interact with something over there. Uh, this is. Yep. There's a cutscene. Okay. Yep. Hello. Those are the eyes of someone who's very scared. It's a dog, right? So it's not mad that I killed the other dog. Hello, puppy. Oh, that's certainly an interesting dog. Holds, holds a hammer. Or, I guess a big face. What in the world am I supposed to do against this? Okay, you know what? Fire! That actually did a decent amount, okay? It doesn't have that much health, it looks like. Ow! Okay, I have to rely on my rolls, I guess. And there goes my rolls. What is... What is that debuff it was? Fort of the, Bo of the Boreal Valley. Okay, well... What was that debuff it was giving me? It looked like a crystal. Like a shiny. Okay. So... What am I gonna do? Wrong way. Save the bonfire again. Just reset the enemies. Just make them forget about the mistake I just made. If you go this way, run as fast as I can. Okay, dog heard me. down. Aha! Get wrecked, scrub. So I'm gonna use this. Ow! Okay. I'm gonna use this. I am embered. Okay, yeah, I have a lot more health when I do that. Okay. I wonder how much more damage I do. Probably not much, but like... Okay. Okay. I should save my fire for the boss fight, basically. Is what I'm thinking. Ow. Hello, last one. Last call. That's cool to keep you zombie. Okay. Okay. Now we just need to go through here, and we'll be fine. Fine. Happy. Kill the evil dog. I really don't want to kill the puppy. The puppy wants to kill me, and I'm just, you know, reacting in kind. Here. Hey, there's summon signs around here. And you know what? I'm probably gonna use one. 
all things considered, that's probably the best thing for me to do. Kick. Okay, so, who wants to help me? You know, that would be great if this, you know, this one just spawned in. And also, is this a Covenant of the Sun person? Pablo? Yo, Pablo, get in here. You know, if Pablo watches my video, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Also, if Pablo responds in, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Warrior of Sunlight, Pablo! Yeah. Come on, there's the bow. Yeah, you got the fist pump. And who are you? Zier? I'll summon you two. Come on, Zier, Pablo's waiting. There you are. And bow to you too. Okay. Listen. This dog has disgraced me once. Let's go. Okay, come on. We got this. Yeah, come on. Yeah, these guys are these guys are pretty tough. And and I have said before, I find no shame in summoning people. It's part of the game, just like invade just like people invading US, so like I'm fine just letting them do all the melee left while I throw fireballs. You know, any fireball would actually hit. This dog was pretty fast. Uh -oh. Hey! Jump for joy! Woohoo! Yeah, I got the solo of the fort, and hey, it's not like metal. Joy! Woohoo! Awesome. Okay, there's a bonfire now. There's a bonfire there now. Okay. That actually might be the two level ups. And also, I'm gonna check to see what Soul of Vort does. Listen, like... Bosses can sometimes make the game, like, super, super tough. And, like, you know, that makes me not want to play the game sometimes when there's, like, a super, super tough boss that I have to spend, like, 20 tries on. And I felt like that boss was going to be a pretty tough boss. Once I get a shield that can block, um, uh, what's the term? Block 100%, uh, block, um, like 100% of physical, then I'll probably try bosses a lot more in earnest. Also, <coughs> oh, oh, yeah, and also, <coughs> up here, I got my replica Estus flask. Glug. So yeah, this is the replica S flask I was talking about last time. It's just like, it's basically just like a yellow gel uh, with some floaty gold things in it. So yeah, wait, let me put up the other one for reference. So there's that one. Here's this one. It's a it's a little bit different shape, but besides that, it's fine. And also it has this like cool little thing to like tie it on to something. So yeah, there's that. I'm gonna keep it as a prop next to me in case I ever may need a prop. Anyways, I think I have the two level ups I need for the Uchi Katana. Welcome home, my sister. Yeah. Very level well. up, please give me two level ups. Then I would very appreciate that. And by the way, I will be the first one to admit that uh, that boss fight was a little bit cheap on my part. And yay, 16. I also have the other souls that are um, in my thing. I have the item souls. May the flame. So yeah, um, that uh, that three-on-one showdown was basically the reason to summon people. But now that I'm Embered, people can invade me, so that's gonna be fun. They can't invade me in Firelink, I'm pretty sure, but like... Okay, so let's... Let's equip the Uji Katana. So yeah, um, it has... Okay, so now that my... Um, okay. 
Okay, so its base damage is higher, and I think um, its scaling damage is now equal to what my uh, hand axe is. So, Uchi Katana is overall better unless I try to block with it. Okay, so let me test this. Let's see. Okay, it has pretty much the same attacks as before, and you can see that it's a lot faster than than uh, the hand axe. Let's see what's its power attack. Okay, its power attack is a little lunge and then a big swipe. Okay, that's pretty good. I think its uh, jump attack is a pierce. Yeah, it is. Um, let's see, its roll attack is... Okay. Its roll attack is just like a horizontal slash. Back step attack is a stab. And I can combo it into other things. Um, any attacks I'm missing? Oh yeah, what's a dashing attack? Okay, that's a stab too. Okay, now what's its, uh... Okay. So, if I put, if I hold down left trigger, I sheath it. But I hold it at the ready. So now, if I click attack... That's a pretty cool attack. Okay, so that's basically just a super strong quick attack. And then, if I remember right, the power attack is a parry. That's a pretty fast parry. And I could probably... And its uh, repost is probably pretty strong. Is that how you say it? Repost? Or is it repost? Well, anyways. Um, yeah. Uchi Katana. In all seriousness, it may be the weapon I use for the rest of the game. Oh, yeah. Let me, really quick, look up Soul of the Vor the Vorio with the Soul of the... The, the, the Pupper Soul. Little Pupper Soul. Uh... Soul of Vor... No, not Soul of Cinder. Soul of Vor... Soul of Vor... Okay, where's Vor... Vor... Oh, I was spelling Vort wrong. It has a D in it. Uh, what is the soul of Vort of the Vorial Vor Valley do? Um, and by the way, I have no problem looking up boss souls, anyway, either. Consume to acquire 2,000 souls or transpose with something. Uh, it can make a... It can make a great hammer or a left... or a pontiff's left eye. Um, Pontiff's Left Eye recovers 30 HP with successive attacks. What the? Which ring the Pontiff Soul of the Um, huh. Effect. Let me. Recovers 30 HP for a determined number of successive attacks specific to each weapon type. So basically, if I'm. So basically, it's a ring that if you're getting good combos, then it gives you 30 HP. That's actually not a bad ring. That's like a. Almost a better version than of the Evil Eye Ring. Um. Hmm. You know, it's only 2,000 souls. That's not even a level up. I might just save it to get the to get that ring. It's a ring, right? Yeah, it's a ring. Um, the Great Hammer. I don't really care about. Yeah, that that was the big mace it was carrying. To me, I guess it would be a great hammer. Um, so yeah, let me use the other souls. Okay, wait, if I put them... I... yeah, put that there. Wait, put that there, that there. Now if I use them from the thing... Okay, sorry, I'm watching things happen on my other screen. I'm kind of concerned about. So yeah, now that's a lot easier to use if I just put them there. I think you can also do that. I don't know why they went back to the Dark Souls one way of doing it, because like, because uh, like uh, on the Dark Souls two, if you had like six souls of the same type, you could just press use, and then it would ask you how many you wanted to use, and then you just use them all at once, like with one little like hand crush. Okay, what's that? Large soul of desert corpse. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's so I can upgrade the Uchi Katana, because I think it uses Type Knight. At least I'm pretty sure it should. And if it doesn't, that's kind of not great. Okay. Hey there, Andre. Nice to see you again. Ah, well, Matt. Tis good to this see cool you good health. I want to replica of this, but it's really just a basic day. katana. Um. Reinforced weapon. Uh, katana. It requires two Titanite shards? Okay, it show. Okay. It gets a little bit better. Okay, yeah, it, so its scaling increases and its damage increases. Okay, good. That's what I want. 
and now I need four. Okay, it requires more Titanite shards, but I seem to be getting getting Titanite shards a little bit faster than I was before, so it's not too big of a deal. Okay, three seventy-two. Does that lady sell sell Titanite shards? Because if I can buy two really quick and get this up to a plus two, which would be oh, pretty well, cool. How may I purchase item? Do you sell stuff? You sell the twenty thousand key. Doesn't look like. Wait, you know. I'm gonna buy the torch and buy two torches just for the heck of it, because I want to. Ashen one. Yep, Be thank sure. you. Okay, so anyways, yeah. Uh, the Ichi Katana will do more damage now, and it's now definitely better than hand axe. Um Okay, so let me let me see that torch. It requires five strength and nothing else to wield it. So just really quick do this because this is something I can okay so wait let me see how many how much strength do I have I have 12 strength so I can I'd only need like seven to power stance these if power stancing is a thing okay it doesn't work like that maybe you can't power stance a torch why am I assuming that you can power stance a torch anyways my thought was that it'd be pretty cool to power stance torches and then do like dual wielding with torches. Because torches, they're not a great weapon, but like, it's, it's cool, you're flinging around fire. Yeah, just like. like do that. Like, Hiya. <laughs> That'd be an interesting run to just buy. Like, yeah, that would be, that would be an interesting, like, challenge run to just play, play through with nothing but two torches. One in each hand. Listen, I'm an idiot. <laughs> is there any? Is there anything else that I have that I can dual wield, so I can check? Broken. If I had two broken straight swords, I could. Um, because that would be eight, eight, eight and a half, sixteen. Uh, that would be twelve to dual wield, and I think I have twelve. Yeah, I have twelve strength. If I get another broken straight sword, I can check then, because I'm pretty sure you can dual wield broken straight swords. That and. You know, I'm getting sidetracked, but I wanted to also check if she's if she if she sells any shields. Oh, so I think my niece might be home. How may Cause her birth cause her birthday party's tomorrow. Hey, don't tell anyone. I got her one of those Funko figures, like 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 this one. Except for it's Elsa from Frozen. Oh wait, no, not Elsa. It's a it, it's uh, Anna. So don't tell her I got her that. Oh wait. You guys already know because my NDK video. She didn't watch that. Actually, I think she watched it, but I'm not entirely sure that she watched all of it, so, like, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, yeah, what's this? Um, You do sell shields. Okay, this is... This is 85. That's definitely better than mine. And I can get it. Okay. And it only has 8... And it only needs 8 strength, so let me get that. I think I actually remember that specific uh, shield from the second game. Okay, so, yeah, everything goes up except for magic, and nothing's really going to have magic right now. It has better durability and everything. So now it'll block a lot more damage. Not 100%, but a decent amount. And also it probably looks better. Okay, so yeah, I got that. Um, I probably have to end, like, now pretty much, because it's two hours in. So yeah, I got my cool new weapon, I got a cool new shield, I got a cool new helmet? Yeah, I got a new helmet. Um, I beat the first real boss, cause, like, um, what was his name? Um, Eudex. He was only really the tutorial boss, and also, is my, is my crestfallen warrior friend back? He's sitting right here, wasn't he? Cause, yeah, like, that's the way out. Someone should tell me where he went. Although, to be fair, my next recording session's probably gonna be before this last part is up, so, whatever. And, yeah, um, yeah, he got the cool... I actually really do like that. Okay, so yeah. Um, okay, I've been dawdling on for too long. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not missing anything. No, I'm not. Okay, so yeah. This will be the end of my second second uh, session of Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 3. Thank you. Okay, I thought that was one big weapon. No, it's two weapons. They're two, two independently cool weapons. 
I keep getting sidetracked. Thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you next time. I like this game too much.